Hi, I'm Roddy Burns, Chief Executive of Murray Council, and I'd like to thank you all individually and collectively for all you've done for this year's awards. It's a fantastic recognition of all the creativeness, the dedication and commitment that you've shown over the past year in such challenging times. Unfortunately, due to the circumstances, we haven't been able to get together, but hopefully next year we will, and once again, we can celebrate all that you've done. In the meantime, thanks for all your good work. No one can ever take this away from you. I'm very proud of what you've done for money. Thanks again. Hello and welcome to our virtual Murray Young Citizens Awards Ceremony 2021. My name is Vivian Cross, Head of Education and Chief Education Officer with Murray Council. We are very grateful once more to our key partners for supporting Murray Young Citizens Awards 2021, where we hope later this year, as we look to Murray Young Citizens Awards 2022, that we may join in person at the Mansfield Hotel to celebrate the successes and achievements of our children and young people across Murray, both those nominated for awards and also those in receipt of highly commended, highly commended and winner awards. Our thanks, first of all, go to our Murray Young Citizen Awards partners, Diageo, the Rotary Club of Elgin, Police Scotland and Murray Council. Key representatives from each of our supporting partners have provided a short video message to congratulate our young people and their achievements across the year. Their videos, along with musical items, are contained within this virtual awards ceremony with my sincere thanks for their contributions and kind wishes. Our Chief Executive, Mr Roddy Burns, has already provided our opening address. This year, the judging panel were extremely impressed with the high quality of nomination and thoroughly enjoyed reviewing the many successes and achievements of the children and young people across Murray. As always, we continue to welcome nominations across award categories and for 2022, let's make this a bumper year for nominations and celebrate the successes and achievement of our children and young people across Murray as we refresh following COVID. I will now pass over to Mr Stuart McLaughlin, Quality Improvement Manager in Education, who will be the narrator for this year's awards category. Our nomination award categories for Murray Young Citizens 2021 are the Group Awards for Primary School, Global Citizenship, Community Group and Secondary School and the Individual Award of Murray Young Citizen 2021. Our first award category, Group Awards, are judged in aspects including teamwork, community spirit, determination and resilience and improving skills. So that's young people gaining skills in problem solving, communication and teamwork. Fundraising. So that's true efforts to engage with local communities around their school. Desire to improve the school grounds, local community and to provide better facilities for their peers or a commitment to working with partners at home or overseas. Our first set of awards in the group award category is the primary school award. And the Primary School Award is awarded to a primary school exhibiting key criteria across three core judging criterion. These three criterion are, first of all, improving the environment of the school and local community. Secondly, promoting citizenship within the school. And thirdly, showing a positive attitude towards their community. This year, we have two finalists in the Primary School Award category, Dallas Primary School and Findochty Primary School, or Finechty as we know it. First of all, if we can look to Dallas Primary School. Dallas Primary School pupils always look for ways to connect their local community, and in particular, intergenerational links with senior citizens in the community. This has included entertaining them in the church, in the village hall, and hosting cook for the community events in the past. COVID-19 affected in-person events, but this did not stop Dallas primary pupils trying to connect with their local community, with activities organised including 
Christmas gifts of decorated stones and Christmas greetings distributed among the local community. Creation of a film play shared with the local community. Social media news sharing. Litter picking in the community and promotion and publicity around the Picking Up Your Dog Mess campaign. Global citizenship awareness through the Australian bushfires. UNCRC or the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child and Children's Rights promotion. National, international and local charity support, including the Colour Run for Multiple Sclerosis, Polio Awareness and Planting Bulbs in the Village, and Anti-Bullying Week activities. A State of Mrs Grant, the head teacher of Dallas Primary School, every pupil is a part of a leadership group with a very active pupil council driving forward charity and community work. From eco-work to digital schools and from rights respecting to the history of Dallas website, our pupils care about the role of our school in the community and the importance of being responsible citizens of the area and beyond. Dallas Primary School If we can now move on to Findochty or Finnachty Primary School. Finnachty Primary School has not allowed COVID-19 to slow down their involvement in the local community, with pupils keeping their school community connected and engaged even in the darkest of times. This has led to a range of developments led by pupils throughout the past year and across COVID-19 times, including the Beehive, where children can opt into a range of arts, crafts and mindfulness activities, such as sewing, paper craft, yoga and baking, and can also involve their wider family members too. The school's Reading Ambassador programme, promoting a love of reading throughout the school and wider community, leading to a First Minister's Reading Challenge Highly Commended Award. Securing funding for an author in residence to promote attainment in writing in the middle primary stages, with Literacy Challenges and Book Week Scotland event also allowing the sharing of literacy across the wider community. This has included author and illustrator workshops and developed a community anthology of stories called the Finnechty Futures. Strong links with the Salvation Army in Finnechty have supported activities further and school traditions are embedded through hosting virtual events, where COVID-19 led to virtual VE Day and Burns event. The school garden has been under development and supported moves towards a community garden with a memory path, sensory garden and allotment. The school's Loneliness Busters campaign, with links formed by the Town Call Committee, Community Council, Church of Scotland and the Salvation Army, has led to random acts of kindness, such as flowers being distributed, doorstep drops, hug cards and heart messages. Head teacher of Finnachty Primary School, Mrs Thompson, is extremely proud of her pupils and school community, highlighting that the children of Finnachty Primary School have strived to deliver a collaborative environment that nurtures connectedness and belonging. The activities the school have been involved in have promoted curiosity, creativity, imagination and problem solving skills. Finnachty Primary School. So in the Primary School Award category, the winner is Findochty Primary School. Congratulations and well done to you all. And on judging criterion, the judging panel also award Dallas Primary School with a highly commended award. Well done folks. Findochty is winner, Dallas is highly commended.
president of Rotary Elgin for the year 21-22, it gives me great pleasure to announce that our Elgin Club is delighted to continue support for the Young Citizen of the Year Award. We have been honoured and again delighted to have been involved in this initiative over many years. I do hope that the award ceremony, albeit by a virtual medium, will be very successful and on behalf of the club I congratulate the young person chosen to become the Citizen of the Year. Thank you. And now to the next award, the Global Citizenship Award. This award is made to a school or group for demonstrating effective global citizenship, not necessarily through a trip or an exchange project. This year has been unprecedented, where international and even national travel has been curtailed, making global citizenship awareness more restricted to local awareness. Within the Global Citizenship Award category this year, we have one finalist, Benighty Primary School. In addition to responsible citizenship activities outlined in the Primary School Award category, pupils have demonstrated global citizenship over the last year in developing understanding of the world we live in and have become more aware of responsibilities in looking after our world. Among many activities linked with global citizenship, this is included monthly newsletters linked to global development goals with positive messages to keep spirits high among the school community. The Our, Our World in Your Hand school focus where pupils raise awareness and understanding across the school community of the world and the responsibility everyone has within it. Climate change and plastic pollution awareness and action, so marine stewardship and the responsibility around marine stewardship. Arctic Explorer visit to discuss climate change, leading to activism through letter writing to planet Earth. Pollination awareness with all children enrolled in the John Muir Challenge to help them see of the beauty of where we all live and protecting the environment around us. Persuasive writing and positive publicity, including action, for example, community beach clean clogging, which is jogging while picking up litter, and promoting this, problem solving and alternative to plastic too. United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child focus across the school, with children regularly discussing their rights and respecting the rights of others, hence awareness of rights across the school community. And promotion and celebration of international days and weeks observed by the United Nations, with messages of hope sent through the peace campaign. Head teacher Mrs Thompson is extremely proud of everything the children at Finnecti Primary School undertake and by their active role in the community beyond working with others, striving to make our planet more equal, fair and sustainable. Children continue to develop as global citizens and recognise that the world is increasingly complex and their choices and actions may have repercussions for people and communities locally, nationally and internationally. And the winner of this year's Murray Young Citizens Award for Global Citizenship goes to Findochty Primary School. Well done, everyone. Congratulations on this award.
Hello everyone, I'm Norman Stevenson, Chief Inspector for Police in Murray. Thank you so much for letting me be part of this. It's been so special to read all your stories and all that you've done in the communities has been so fabulous. You really are ambassadors for young people in Murray, so well done. Thank you. And now we move to the third of our group awards, the Community Group Awards category. The Community Group Award is awarded to winning young people who have improved the environment of their local community, promoted citizenship within the group itself and their local community, and shown a positive attitude towards that community. In the Community Group Award category, we have two finalists, Fendofte Primary School and Keon Pipers. First of all, Fendofte Primary School, not a stranger to us in MICA 2021, in addition to community activities already outlined, the school have also very successfully led a combating loneliness and isolation programme, which was high on the agenda for the pupils much before COVID-19. As such, a loneliness campaign was initially set up back in 2019 to offer compassion and connections with the older generation in the community. Not only was that connection made, but further links and events, including the church soup and sweet, hosting an afternoon tea once a month in the school and attending the Thursday club in the town hall every second week led to new skills development, including learning how to knit, crochet and play Scrabble when Fenechte senior citizens attending. Weekly reading sessions and crafting were planned and jars of kindness were created and delivered to lift spirits and connect with the community. Further linking with the Salvation Army, the school also supported local food bank with such surplus food donated from Aldi. Flowers were given to identified members of the public on health walks and a large donation of Easter eggs were also shared among the community. The pupils also used Google Classroom to share ideas and how to show kindness to the community and decorate stones with positive messages, decorated windows to mark different occasions. And during COVID-19, this included Easter, BE Day, Halloween and support of Poppy Scotland. Virtual events were also held online with the community, such as toast and tea at 3 p.m. on VE Day, and the community were also invited to join in with the school and share pictures. On return to school, Poetry Together, linking with the local care home, supported literacy learning, and Doric poems were learned, including children creating art for residents to go alongside the poems that were read. The school continues in that process of developing the community garden and the memory path will lead the way to each area, wildlife sensory and also a polytunnel area. The school dog poo campaign led by pupils was developed with messaging and artwork to raise awareness of this issue, lighting the community where artwork has been turned into signs by the community council to discourage this from happening. Mrs Thompson, head teacher, is proud of her pupils' achievements. Communities are important because they allow people to interact with each other, share experiences, develop valued relationships and work towards a common goal. Community spirit can help foster growth and nurture positive experiences. Every positive impact that is made on the playground, in the garden, at school, in homes and care homes will create an even stronger, healthier and happier community. The Doctor Primary School. Moving on folks now, if I can, to Keon Pipers. Keon Pipers are the second finalist in our Community Group Award category. Keon Pipers are Kenzie and Leon, two 13-year-old boys who met at Elgin Pipe Band, 
initially met when learning the chanter at the age of six at Elgin Fight Band. Kenzie attends Elgin High and Leo attends Elgin Academy. Over the boys, the boys have undertaken considerable fundraising and community spirited activities, while also overcoming personal challenges. Their Facebook page alone has over 2,700 followers, and the boys actively immerse themselves in the community through activities over the year, including busking for charity and playing on the Santa on the Streets event in Elgin. They are members of the Elgin Youth Cafe management team supporting activity planning. The event entertained Murray Mental Health Peer Support Group for a Burn Supper event, and they played in the pipe for, up for key workers on their doorsteps and continued during the clap for key workers. They have visited care homes outside and play for residents to lift their spirits, keeping those up during COVID-19. They've played at VE Day celebrations and also events, including a P7 Leavers event at Forest and a Lucy Blue Day charity online event too. Donations of money raised and food to local food bank and charitable causes has helped other good causes too in the local area. The boys are dedicated to their local community and COVID-19 did not stop them supporting people in their local community where at all they could. It will be exciting to see what the boys do next as COVID-19 restrictions hopefully ease in time. The judging panel would like to congratulate both finalists for the Community Award. Once again, another difficult category for the judging panel to judge. And for MICA 2021, the winner is Pendochty Primary School. Congratulations and well done to all once again. The judging panel would like to recognise as well the sterling work undertaken during the difficult time that COVID-19 has presented to us all, and would also like to recognise Keon Piper's a highly commended award. So well done, Fenachty Primary School, for winning the Community Group Award category, and also well done, Keon Piper's, for that highly commended award also. Thank you. And now to the final category in the Group Awards category, the Secondary School Awards. The Secondary School Award category is awarded to a secondary school group who have improved the environment of the school and local community, promoted citizenship within their school, or shown a positive attitude towards the community also. In the Secondary School Awards, we have three finalists. The Wellbeing Hub at Bucky Community High School, the S6 Leadership Team at Elgin High School and the S6 House Captains at Forest Academy. So to start, the Wellbeing Hub at Bucky Community High School. This was set up to raise positive mental health and wellbeing with drop-in sessions weekly for S1 and S2 to come in for chat and advice. A small group of seniors planned activities each week around key themes, including friendships and social media. The hub was very well attended and during lockdown, senior pupils continued to support pupils online too, with activities every day and information provided on how to cope during lockdown. Seniors undertook key self-evaluation to find out thoughts and opinions with an overwhelmingly positive feedback on their impact and the support they had provided. Some of these senior pupils wanted to pursue a career in mental health, nursing, teaching or social work, where the hub has provided a grounding for their future career aspirations. Mr Johnston, the head teacher at Bucky Community High School, is very proud of the group's achievement, stating, in a time where it has been very difficult for young people to demonstrate leadership to their wider community, their work has been exemplary. The Wellbeing Hub at Bucky High School. Elgin High School's F6 leadership team have worked tirelessly throughout this session, planning and coordinating pupil citizenship events and activities to support all. Following a competitive interview process, the group were then selected to develop citizenship, leadership skills and promote health and well-being across the school community. This year has proved very challenging for those young people and alongside initial development of an introductory video, charitable fundraising, promoting a rights-based approach across the school and supporting key charities, these have been core focus areas. Genes for Genes, Tickle Pink for Breast Cancer Awareness and Children in Need were identified. The TikTok video, sponsored five mile social distance walk, Wear Something Tartan Day and other charitable events raising £2,000 for these causes, despite the presence of COVID-19 and restrictions and mitigations in place. 
As peer mediators, the group supported younger students and the friend zone combated any potential isolation among younger pupils. The school step into Christmas video united the community once again, with the house quiz supporting positivity and ethos further. Mr McCulloch, the head teacher of Elgin High School, is extremely proud of the group, who he states have continued to meet both virtually and with physical distancing to use their time effectively, both in supporting the school and the wider local community in a creative way. What the team has achieved has far surpassed our expectations. The Essex Leadership Team at Elgin High School. Forest Academy Essex House Captains are the final group in this award category as finalists. The Magnificent Seven, as they are known, were nominated due to their wide range and eclectic nature of volunteering, which despite restrictions, they were extremely successful in making a positive impact on the school and community. This has included various different things, including supporting younger pupils and ensuring their views are known and heard, budding and mentoring younger pupils, prefect duties, leading focus groups in the school's new vision and values refresh, positive attitude towards the community through Murray Food Bank collections and MFR Christmas Jumper Day organisation for Cash for Kids, supporting the smooth running of the school through the challenges presented by COVID-19 where normal school activities were restricted. Mr Sinclair, the head teacher of Forest Academy, is extremely proud of this group of young people, stating, in all of their activities and challenges, they prove themselves to be true role models for our younger students. We are tremendously proud of them, from representing or seeking views and opinions from students in the parent body to supporting charitable causes. The Essex House Captains at Forest Academy. In the secondary school category, once again, we would like to congratulate all finalists for getting through to that stage. And in the secondary school award winner for MICA 2021 is the Essex Leadership Team at Elgin High School. Congratulations to you all. Forest Academy Essex House Captains on judging are also to be highly commended. Well done Forest Academy Essex House Captains who are highly commended. And also the judging panel would like to recognise the work of the Bucky Community High School Wellbeing Hub who are commended. So well done all. Elgin High School as winners, Forest Academy, Essex House Captains as highly commended, and Bucky Community High School Wellbeing Hub as commended. I'm honoured to be able to represent Diageo, the Murray Young Citizens Award, and to have the opportunity to have read all of the nominations. The applications were all of a very high standard, and I would firstly like to thank and recognise all the individuals and schools for their contributions to making Murray community such a warm and welcoming environment. The range of nominations came from across the full spread of the county, from Fenecti to Forest, Keith to Kinloss, Lossy Mouth to Abalawa. That sounds like an amazing road trip to take in the summer. It was also amazing to see that all of our secondary schools submitted nominations of a very high quality. The range of truly inspiring acts of kindness and community benefits made me feel so proud to be part of this community. I heard of such a range of individual initiatives from dressing up to put a smile on the community's faces, to running enduring events to raise money, to making immersive trails. The adaptability to our challenging times was truly commendable with some really innovative thinking to deliver inclusion to our communities, such as virtual sport coaching and virtual worship sessions. A clear message coming through was how all of our young people adapted to look after each other through creating mental health and welfare support networks, and even as importantly, acting in an encouraging and supportive manner. Thank you for all of your drive, ambition and initiative to put the heart of the community firmly into Murray. Diageo is proud to sponsor the Murray Young Citizens Award, and, and I have had the pleasure to have been involved in the judging and the celebrations for the last seven years, where I've seen a number of previous winners go on to achieve great things in their communities. As well as the Murray Young Citizens Award, Diageo also sponsors the Murray Sports Awards that recognise the wide range of sports and talent that we have across the county, and also the Career Ready programme for S4 and S6 young people within secondary schools. It's all well links together with the Young Citizens Awards to support the mental health and well-being that is so important for all of us, especially during these trying times. 
Many thanks for allowing me the time to recognise all of the great initiatives that the young people have delivered to our communities and to highlight some of the way Diageo supports Murray. And once again, I'd like to thank all who have been nominated, but above all, show our gratitude for all of the people represented here that make Murray the great place it is to live. Thank you. Let us now move on to the final award category, where there were a high number of young people nominated for this individual award, the Murray Young Citizen Award 2021. Due to the volume of entries in this category, we have 12 finalists, where in this year of COVID-19, we've also identified a number of young people worthy of the highly commended and commended awards. The criteria for the individual award of Murray Young Citizen is presented to the young person who demonstrates good citizenship by making an outstanding contribution to their local community or to an international education project. The winning young person must demonstrate some or all of the following characteristics. Strong participation in school, community or overseas work. A positive attitude towards classmates, school and the community. An understanding and appreciation of civic responsibility. Strength of character and courage to do what is right. And to promote citizenship within the school or community through other activities. Let us now consider each finalist in turn, and let us start with Blair Jackson. Blair is a young person who has been highly active in the Burnley and Pluskerdon Church as an organist for several years, talented in keyboard and brass and relating well to people of all ages. During lockdown, Blair produced Blair's We Worships, shared on YouTube and church website in order to support the church community. This also included on Remembrance Sunday, the four Sundays of Advent, and other key worship events. Blair is described as considerate, polite, caring and engaging and an incredibly talented musician who is willing to go above and beyond what is expected or asked for. Mr Scott, the head teacher of Elgin Academy, states that Blair is an exceptional young man and one we are very proud of. He makes a huge contribution to our school but also the wider community around us. Blair Jackson. Cassie Finlay. Cassie, a pupil at Keith Grammar School, is a responsible and active citizen in our school community and beyond, showing positive attitude and determination to support others. As an active school's young leader, Sports Scotland Young Ambassador and Conference Team Delivery Member, KGS Student Voice Member, a buddy for younger people and Sport Volunteer for Primary Hockey, Cassie is selfless in her approach to supporting and promoting the rights of others. Through our music as part of the Country Quines and Keith, who regularly entertained at local care homes, Cassie also supports Murray's Got Talent as a young ambassador for promoting and fundraising. During lockdown, Cassie took part in the weekly clap for Heroes and Carers and in a charity single by Scots artist Skerryvore by playing our bagpipes. With strong presence on social media, Cassie is also a member of the Scottish Culture and Arts Programme and Shetland Fiddle Group, preparing virtually for the Edinburgh the Two. Mr Bruce, the head teacher of Keith Grammar School, describes Cassie as outstanding in her public service, both in the school and wider community. An ambassador and a supporter for many across the wider community, while also showing a high degree of respect for Scottish heritage. An achiever both in and out of the classroom, having successfully studied towards hires in music and German while only being an S4, Cassie's voluntary work, selflessness and enthusiasm for everything she does an inspiration for us all. Cassie Finlay. Harvey McCook. Harvey is described as a truly reliable volunteer for REAP, who always arrives early, is ready to help and supportive of all participants in gardening workshops and events. Always exhibiting a positive attitude, Harvey has strong responsibility in his role, supporting communications, sessions and events. Quiet, friendly and enthusiastic, but with a great sense of humour, Harvey sees clearly his work to help REAP, keen to help the community and promote the work of REAP as a local environment charity based in Keith, who work across Murray to encourage community growing, tackle financial poverty and also promote the environment. The manager of REAP is extremely proud of Harvey, stating that Harvey has been a part of the REAP community growing work in Elgin as a volunteer for five years and she describes him as a star. 
Harvey has also been a member of Police Scotland Youth Volunteers in Murray since October 2019, and during that time has become a popular member of the group with his wit and quiet manner, supporting events including El Elgin Bid Christmas Light Switch On, Charity Bag Pack, No Nice Better Lives Education Training, Leaflet Drops and Publicity Campaigns. Harvey has also given over time to volunteer at Elgin Town Hall and Takeover, supporting events and assisting guests. Harvey McCook. Lola J. Too Good. Lola J. is a young person with a determined outlook. In May 2020, during lockdown, she set herself a 10 day running challenge, challenging herself to run round the park at Portese 10 times every day for 10 days, equating to 25 miles. In the doing so, as a fundraiser in need of MFR cash for kids, Lola J completed the challenge through all weathers and ultimately raised £4,338 for MFR cash for kids. Mrs Vass, the head teacher at Pertesi Primary School, is extremely proud of her determination, resilience and selflessness. An example to us all, Lola J too good. Lucas Berzoni. Lucas is a young person who, following the bereavement of a family friend, has worked tirelessly to raise money and awareness of Crohn's and colitis. Setting the target of running 50 miles in February at the age of 12, Lucas ran in all weathers, including the rain and the snow, to keep on track and reach his milestone target. A quiet and unassuming young man with a compassionate and caring nature, Lucas raised over £2,000 for this worthy cause. Described by Mrs Cameron, the head teacher at Milnes High, as a friendly and hard-working student, he always displays resilience and perseverance, and his can-do attitude is noted, as well as his kind and supportive nature in raising awareness of this illness. Lucas Berzoni. Morgana Campbell. Morgana moved to Scotland in March 2019 and approached TSI Murray to see how she could contribute locally. Following the involvement in a scheme in England in support of championing the rights of young people who receive health and social care services in England. Following volunteering in the Elgin Youth Cafe, Morgana further linked with Youth Link Scotland and appeared in Children in Need, having raised over £1,000 for this charity. An active member of Young Scot Health, she also supports discussions around health and social issues and is a champion of the rights of Scottish peers in relation to challenging the laws around alcohol advertising. During COVID-19, Morgana was part of a small group who created a video to raise awareness of the Protect the NHS app. Young Scott posted this video on TikTok and Morgana has been selected to remain in the Young Scott panel for a further six months. With passion and drive to improve the quality of lives for young people in our own community and across Scotland, as stated by Mrs Simpson, head teacher of Lossie Mouth High School, Morgana has made a significant and positive impact on the mental health and well-being of young people, passionate about this cause and giving her time willingly in such challenging times. Morgana Campbell. Brodie Bain. Brodie is an inspirational young person who has overcome personal challenges in order to support others. Drawing from personal experiences, empathy and understanding of others with a particular focus on mental health and well-being, Brodie was elected head student at Speyside High School, working with a fellow head student to lead a number of events to support others. This has included food collections for Murray Food Plus, non-uniform day with a festival theme to raise money for children in need, and a Christmas gifting event. The S6 events group led by Brodie and our fellow head student at the Senior Lunch Club received a Christmas card and bobble at Christmas as a way of reaching out to this wider group in the school community where activities were curtailed due to COVID-19 that would normally have taken place. Mrs Goodbrand, the head teacher of Speyside High School, describes Brodie as a student who has shown resilience, determination and empathy to return to her studies, constantly looking for ways to make others' lives better with enthusiasm, passion and organisation. Brodie Bain. Dodie Simmers. Dodie is described as an excellent example of a young citizen of Murray. Exemplary student and responsible citizen, showing the same high level of commitment to supporting others as to his own studies. Dodie devotes considerable time to supporting charitable events and local organisations, regularly helping out at school events and supporting KGS Parent Council. 
Jody applies maximum effort in everything he does and throughout lockdown, although ill himself, continued to apply maximum effort. In addition to running a 5k a week, Jody was selected to take part in the Young Leaders of Learning programme, was part of the Youth Philanthropy Initiative winning team, raising funds for Logan's Fund, is a key member of the KGS Funk Band and KGS Pipe Band, and out with school as a young leader at Keith Athletics Club, also helping with Stage Stars Drama School for children aged three to five. During lockdown, Jody also volunteered with Keith and District Sports Development and Keith Football Youth Club Youth, undertaking duties to allow football training and matches to take place during the pandemic. As a musician, Jody has entertained at the Guild, Turner Memorial Hospital and Phoenix Club, and with Strathyla Pipe Band has supported remembrance parades and other events. As a keen fiddler with the Strath Bay Fiddlers, Dodie has entertained at various fundraising events, including an online Christmas concert organised by a local musician. Dodie is always first to help and has supported wider events, including Keith Primary School's P7 Leavers event, typing out the P7s. Dodie also works to teach local children how to play guitar, and at the SNP Burns Supper in 2020 at the Longmore Hall, even addressed the haggis while sitting next to the First Minister. Mr Bruce, the head teacher of Keith Grammar School, is immensely proud of Jodie's achievement, stating, Jodie is an example of a young citizen who works hard and is keen to give back to the community he lives in. Jodie clearly possesses the qualities and attitudes of a successful leader and embodies everything this ward is about. Jodie Simmers. Katie Dunbar. Katie is a very responsible and hardworking student who has been actively involved with active school since May 2019 nominated by physical education staff to be a young ambassador. Enthusiastic and taking every opportunity that comes our way, Katie is extremely dedicated to her role and as such developed through young leader events, CPD, including Junior Jog Scotland and progressing from assistant coach to lead coach. A supporter of wellbeing events and fundraisers, including setting up of a KGS sports committee and raising money for sports equipment, Katie has delivered sports sessions for primary school pupils and kept sport alive during lockdown through virtual active school videos. In 2020, Katie agreed to be part of the Sports Scotland's Young Ambassador Conference delivery team and supported a range of virtual events with very positive feedback received. As our head teacher, Mr Bruce states, Katie is a very responsible and hardworking student who continually gets involved with groups and tasks of benefit to everyone in the school community. Katie is a credit to herself, her family and her school. Katie Dunbar. Lucy Mark. Lucy is nominated for her philanthropic activities, having contacted MFR at Christmas, finding out if they required gifts for any specific age groups. Lucy then went on to raise considerable money and bought numerous gifts for the 10 to 13 years old age groups, supporting others selfless in their actions. Further, as a P1 football coach, Lucy supports young children with skills development and sport, and as an accomplished footballer herself, takes pride in teaching young children how to be active. At Halloween, Lucy created a pumpkin trail for children of her home village to enjoy at Halloween, and also organised a winter windowland, so a winter windowland, to bring a smile to the faces of the children in their village through festive displays. Dedicating much of her free time to community activities and volunteering, Mrs Jex, Lucy's guidance teacher, are extremely proud of Lucy's achievements. Lucy Mark. Megan Mackay. Megan is described as a positive role model and inspiration to other athletes, inspiring others through her role as a Murray and Bam football referee, encouraging others to follow a similar route as she has. Megan is keen to get more women involved in football and is actively involved in extracurricular activities at school, including football, athletics and cross country. Overcoming her own health issues, Megan represents the school at the Scottish School of Athletics every year and all at Milnes High School are extremely proud of her achievement. Mrs Cameron, head teacher at Milnes, highlights Megan as a young person who demonstrates good citizenship by stepping up in their own initiative to make a contribution to the local community. Megan is a determined young lady and embodies the values that they are trying to develop in young people to make a safer, healthier and more successful society. Megan Mackay. Tegan Miller.
Keegan is described as a modest and hard-working young person who shows genuine consideration for those around her. During first lockdown, Tegan was challenged by her dad to dress up and walk around the local area with a target of £600 fundraising, along with her mum, in fancy dress. This was achieved, and following acceptance of this challenge, she worked hard to create and innovatively dress up in a range of outfits and costumes to raise that money for charity. And Tegan and her mum did dress up in costumes from dinosaurs to sharks and Harry Potter to Ninja Turtles. Tegan's dad had to stay true to his word on achievement of the target, but he had to dress up as a bearded lady and join. Over a period of nine weeks, spreading cheer and taking requests from residents, Tegan and her mum raised over £1,300 in total for local causes, and with their dog, also walked over 150 miles. MFR Cash for Kids and Can Lost Scouts benefited from their fundraising, and as a young explorer, Tegan recognised the importance of supporting the latter group and the wider community of which she is a part. Mrs Riley, Deputy Head Teacher at Forest Academy, highlights that Tegan's efforts to raise funds for charity over lockdown had an extraordinary effect upon the school community, engaging with people who may be lonely, living on their own or without company at a very difficult time. She is also involved with a military-run youth club, supporting others in the local community. They are exceptionally proud of Tegan's efforts and achievements raising funds and promoting citizenship through their community. Well done, Tegan. Tegan Miller. Those are our 12 finalists, and I will now pass over to our Head of Education and Chief Education Officer, Vivian Cross, who will now announce the recipients of the commended, highly commended, and also the winner of the Individual Award of Murray Young Citizen of the Year 2021. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed hearing of all the successes and achievements of our children and young people as much as I have. Those that are nominated for awards and those that are reaching the final stages of the Murray Young Citizens Awards 2021. I am extremely proud of all children and young people across Murray and particularly for those both nominated and receiving awards tonight. I will now announce the recipients of the commended, highly commended and overall winner of the Murray Young Citizens Award, the Individual Award 2021. So, to the final awards. We are delighted to announce the following young people as receiving a commended award. Blair Jackson, Harvey McCook, Lola J. Tugud, Lucas Berzoni, Morgana Campbell, Lucy Mark, Megan Mackay, and Tegan Miller. Moving on to those awards that are receiving a highly commended award. Rodie Bain and Katie Dunbar. Well done to both of you. And last but by no means least, and if you've been carefully counting, you will realise we have not one but two young people left. Yes, we couldn't separate on judging between them. So I'm delighted to announce that this year's joint winners of the Murray Young Citizens Awards 2021 are Cassie Findlay and Dodie Simmers, both from Keith Grammar School. Many congratulations to you both. Well done, Cassie, and well done, Dodie. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all for listening in to this virtual awards ceremony and look forward to Murray Young Citizens 2022, which we hope to hold in person towards the end of the school year in 2022. Let's make Murray Young Citizens Awards a bumper year for nominations in 2022 
taking into consideration all the work that's been done during and post pandemic. Best wishes and grateful thanks to you all and all our Murray Young Citizens Award partners who make events like this possible. Take care and stay safe.